Normally, my gas engine start easily by hand. But something was going wrong with the carburetor in this one, and I couldn't get it to run to see what was going on. I expect a lot of you have been in this situation also. There got to be a better way. I think Sullivan came up with the idea for their starters about the day after RC airplanes were invented and somebody couldn't get their motor started. When I flew RC airplanes over 25 years ago, Sullivan made the best starters, and that apparently hasn't changed a bit since. When I decided to get a starter, I knew it was going to be a Sullivan, and I got the good one. And I even made it more portable, and we'll look at that a little later. The drive cone on this Sullivan starter is probably overbuilt, but it just seems to be how Sullivan does things. These starters are pretty heavy because they're built to last. They even machine a belt groove into the nose cone so you don't have to get a different starter for belt starting systems. The rubber-like adapter that actually makes contact with the spinner is surprisingly tough. And for those with special design spinners or prop hubs, Sullivan makes a bunch of different adapters that plug right in. I expect there just isn't a whole lot that Sullivan hasn't already thought of when it comes to putting their starters onto an airplane motor. Sullivan sends their starters with a long cord with battery clips on it for hooking up to motorcycle and car batteries, but I wanted to be more portable than that. I had this lipo sitting around and I decided to figure out a way to mount it onto the starter. And altogether, the starter and the battery weighs right at 5 pounds. I had a couple hunks of this aluminum angle sitting around, and it's not quite long enough, but I made it work for now and will refine this mount later on. I have pieces of Velcro on the battery and on the mount, plus the Velcro straps to secure it. That'll get better when I get some more material. These days I don't spend a whole lot of time flipping my gas motors. Even I do learn eventually. When the motor starts giving me a hard time, I whip out the Sullivan. And that's generally all it takes. So if you've got a motor, or your friends have a motor that gives them a hard time starting every now and then, you need to think about a Sullivan starter. I don't go to the field anymore without mine. Alzheimer's or not, I remember stuff like this, and that makes me remember the Sullivan starter in my trailer. <laughs> 